Stomach cancer is a buildup of abnormal cells that divide very rapidly and form a mass in the stomach. In the United States, there are approximately 25,500 new cases of stomach cancer each year. Statistically, it is the fifth most common cancer worldwide and the third leading cause of cancer-related deaths. The overall five-year survival rate for stomach cancer is reported to be less than 10% worldwide. Stomach cancer starts when a defect develops in the structure of a DNA. When this happens, the affected gene becomes unable to control the cellular dynamics and new cells are produced in an uncontrollable manner. It is not entirely clear why stomach cells become cancerous in some people. Certain factors qualify to be the risk factors for stomach cancer, including Barrett's esophagus, inflammation of inner lining of stomach, pernicious anemia, a history of stomach ulcers, and family history of stomach cancer. Long-term smokers have double the risk of getting stomach cancer compared to non-smokers. Also, excessive consumption of salty foods, smoked meats, and pickled vegetables contributes risk of developing stomach cancer. In the early phase, stomach cancer can present with a feeling of being very full during meals, even with small food intake. Gradually, the patient may experience difficulty with swallowing, along with frequent burping, indigestion, stomach ache, heartburn, and vomiting. On reaching a more advanced stage, the stomach cancer can cause fatigue, anemia, black stools, loss of appetite, and significant weight loss. There may be blood mixed or coffee-colored vomiting that most likely signifies bleeding from the stomach. Individuals with signs and symptoms suggestive of stomach cancer must consult their doctor at the earliest. To make the diagnosis, doctor takes the medical history, examines the patient, and conducts few tests, such as routine lab tests, upper gastrointestinal endoscopy, abdominal ultrasound, CT, and PET scan. These scans show radiographic images of inside of the body. These pictures help determine about its precise size and location, how advanced the cancer is, and where in the body it has spread to. Biopsy of the tumor mass helps forming the diagnosis conclusively. Traditionally, treatment of the stomach cancer is done with surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, immunotherapy, and targeted therapy. Immunotherapy uses medicines which recruit person's own immune system to find and destroy cancer cells. Targeted therapies use drugs that block the growth and spread of cancer by selectively destroying the cancer cells directly or preventing them from multiplying in number. The exact treatment plan depends on the stage of the cancer and other factors, such as patient's age and overall health condition. Chances of recovery are always better if the cancer is diagnosed in the early stages. Once the cancer reaches advanced stage, the treatment becomes complex and difficult. The patients with advanced stomach cancer consider participating in a clinical trial to help determine whether a new treatment is effective for treating them. For more information about stomach cancer, list of expert doctors, hospitals, and ongoing clinical trials, please visit www.expertdocs.com.